So far this game is not very interesting. Uh, we have this little frog guy, we have the ground, and we need some, uh, we can actually jump and fall. That's, that's pretty much everything we can do. So what we're gonna do now is, is we're gonna add some obstacles for this little guy to, to be able to jump on or, or avoid. And I have prepared two different new game objects that I put into two files. Uh, they are pretty much identical apart from, we're gonna look at, at this in time. Uh, this is the platform game object. It contains uh, a sprite. So we have added some new images to the. This is the sprite here. The image rockplanks.png. It's, it's in the package that you can download from the from the tutorial uh, web page. Uh, it also contains a script uh, and a collision object. Now this collision object is a bit different than than the one we have had for the ground. All the, and the only, no, sorry, this is exactly the same. This is a geometry group and it collides with here. So this is just something that the hero with will uh, collide with and, and never penetrate. The script contains uh, just, in, uh, it just moves the platform at a certain speed from left to right. Uh, and, and when it reaches a certain uh, position, it will be deleted. Here you see that it does geo delete. Uh, so we have the platform game object and we have the platform long, which is identical apart from being twice as wide. And it has a bigger, of course, a bigger. Uh, sorry. There you go. A bigger collision shape as well. Now, how do we get these guys, these platforms into the game. One way would be to just add them like this, add game object file and choose platform and we can we can work with them like this. Um, that's problematic because because the idea of this game is to, to actually create an infinite runner. So what we're gonna do here instead is is we're gonna if we look at the level collection we have added we have this controller uh, game object that previously didn't uh, include much but we have added two uh, types of uh, two factory components to this to this game object and uh, a factory component can spawn game objects and what you do is you tell say that this platform factory is the name we gave it to it has a prototype here and it says that when whenever I get a message that I'm gonna spawn something I'm gonna spawn a, a game object of based on this prototype, the, the other one spawns long platforms. So we have two, two uh, factors here that can spawn platforms and we add some logic to the controller script, the level controller script. So we set up a grid, like a minimum distance that these guys can be spawned on. Uh, we have a couple of preset heights that we can spawn them on. Um, uh, and in the update loop, we calculate, we move along this grid and then at, at certain intervals, like a random intervals, if we math random is more than 0 0.2, then we will spawn a platform and depending on another random factor here, we choose whether we want to spawn, a, we're going to call the platform factor or the platform long factor. And what we do is we just call a function called factory create uh, and tell it uh, the target would be the the component that we wanna that we wanna create the, the game object from, and also give it a position and a rotation, which is gonna be nil, and some initial parameters that are not gonna be anything right now, uh, and also scale value. We, um, and what happens is that the, the game will spawn a platform of a certain type, give us back a, a reference to that that we can uh, that we can use if we want to. And we use that by setting the speed. We send a message to it, so we do a message post to p whatever that is, and set send the message set speed. And if we look at the platform game object script, it has this on message set speed, so it sets the Sets the, then what happens is that it sets the self speed, the in, an internal variable in the in the game object to speed, 
uh, that comes from the message and then we use that when we update the position here so and the effect of this is that when we run it we will see platforms being spawned on the left hand side we can jump and since they are on the same collision group as, as the ground here the frog will will deal with it perfectly and we see that they they spawn on the left hand side here and they scroll along and when they reach the right hand sorry they spawn on the right hand side and when they reach the left hand side they will just uh, be deleted but they, that's a pretty unfortunate thing what happened right then which was that the, the frog was pushed out of the level and we're going to deal with that uh, in a second but first uh, I want to show you a nifty thing because it took a little while to find good values for all these uh, like heights and the spawn rate and so forth for, for the platforms and one, in, one cool thing that you can do in default is that I can actually work if I take the level controller script here for example I can change these values so I, let's say I put that up to 0.9 and I reload uh, the resource into the running game and now suddenly so I had the game running all along in the background and now suddenly they will almost never spawn see that if I go back and oh sorry go back and set that to zero uh, which is a pretty high value and just hit reload I have that in the menu here edit reload resource go back to the running game and uh, I have a new spawning pat pattern and this is really great when working with with games since there's so much tuning that you have to do in terms of gameplay and how things are organized or whatever uh, so I use that quite a lot to, to tweak things um, then again it's re if, if I accidentally happen to to, to uh, exit the, the game I can just hit build again that's also really fast so so everything goes really fast here in, in the default engine uh, what we see here is that the, 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 the frog get pushed away and it also looks pretty funky when it jumps so there are two things that we need to, to, to fix here the first thing is that we need to, to update the animation on this guy so it, it actually follows what, what happens and the other thing is that we need to make these platforms dangerous so, so that should result in some kind of death <laughs> 